So this is the Mars Yard at the Jet Propulsion Lab. So we take all of our research rovers and our, our Mars rovers, our engineering models, and we bring them out here and do lots of different types of testing. This is a complete duplicate, complete copy of the rover that's on Mars. And we use this for engineering testing to see what's gonna happen on Mars under certain circumstances or different slopes. And uh, we run the different commands that we're using to send to Perseverance and, and run them through this engineering model first and make sure everything's okay before we run those commands on Mars. The engineers are doing a sample caching system test where they're taking the adaptive caching assembly in the arm and figuring out how to drop uh, sample tubes that would have cores of Martian rocks or, or soil or regolith and figuring out how to drop them and make sure everything works correctly at different rover tilts. At this point in the mission, we've only been finding and exploring really interesting scientific sites and taking rock core samples or, or regolith samples and they're all stored in the vehicle right now. In the future, as soon as, but not guaranteed, uh, we might drop our first set of samples as a cache in about six months, nine months from now, to be picked up by a future rover and or 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 other system and brought back to the uh, return Mars ascent vehicle to be launched into orbit and then uh, docked with a, an orbiting spacecraft and brought back to Earth. This is the, an exact copy of Curiosity's wheels. Um, and so in 2011, we launched. In 2012, we landed Curiosity on Mars with these wheels. And we had tested these wheels in all the different environments that they were going to be used in. And they are perfect. They provide enough spring if it falls off a rock to give a little bit of cushion. But they are strong enough to not have any holes show up in them. <laughs> and all of a sudden, holes start showing up in our wheels on Mars. And this was a big surprise. And uh, I'll, I'll say our first um, failure of engineering imagination. So it turns out that if you take a very sharp rock and you embed it in concrete so it can't move and you make a whole field of them and then you run a rover over them with six wheel drive, you can put lots of holes and rip up your wheels. The, the Curiosity wheels, when we discovered holes in our Curiosity wheels, we made a, a mechanical mule track and it, it did about, I think, 20 or 40 kilometers in a circle for hours and hours and days and weeks testing our new wheels over on this side.